specified amounts of decayed foreign currencies including US dollars. British pound sterling, among others, were yesterday recovered at the house of a diseased customs officer in Kano. The heap of the recovered currencies were said to have been buried beneath the earth's surface wrapped up in polythene bags. This was uncovered during a renovation work at the house of at the house in customs quarters located close to FCE Kano. The currencies were allegedly buried by the decayed by the deceased officer when he was alive without informing relatives or colleagues. Though the name and rank of the officer were not made public, it was gathered that the deceased was one of the senior officers at the Kano office of the Nigeria Customs Service. Daily Post gathered that the investigation is ongoing to uncover the real owner of the decayed currencies as well as the reason behind burying them. <laughs> Not today. Is it today? Mm -hmm. The ones that were discovered in a kui, whatever, whatever. What have they done about it? The NNPC man, I don't know whether Yakubu, I don't know whether he's a former NNPC, whether he's a former or see with the NNPC. That uh, in his house in Kaduna, he was in Kano State. That one of the, you know, the, the buildings that he has that you not even suspect, just very local houses like that. He has, but he discovered a lot of money currencies in, the, in there. And the man came back and said, Is this my money? Why would you go and put it there? Up to today. Did you hear anything about it? No, you didn't hear anything about it. Is it not this one? The one that uh, they are talking about, the man is no, is no longer alive. So who are they going to be pursuing? The ones that are alive that have committed all manner of atrocities. What have they done about them? Nothing. Nigerians are the most senseless women on earth. Imagine how many people these monies can lift out of poverty. I totally agree with you 100%. Thanks. No, if it is not, don't forget that uh, you are father who were Nigeria and when you yourself do you agree with you are a senseless person? Okay. Ah, uh, may God punish you people. Had it been it is Igbo, by now the whole world will know his name. And his entire village would have been arrested and paraded. Now you don't know his name and rank. Government of Nigeria, stop being biased. Don't mind those parasites that will die one after the other. Eat, help your family and needies while alive. As all you leave behind after your death is vanity upon vanity yes this is the vanity upon vanity the holy bible talked about there are others yet to be discovered exactly no investigation will be carried out but police can continue boggling people's properties that is the kind of people they want me to answer one nigeria with a person so corrupt greedy and selfish that couldn't trust anyone enough when he was alive to discuss about the illicit cash with your view is very correct sure everyone knows the truth and keep quiet that is the evil uh generation that we have found ourselves when you acquire wealth through dubious means you will not enjoy it hmm, may he rots in hell he's already there waiting for the rest of his brother because that is where all our suffering will go <laughs> oh my god it is uh, honestly the the problem we have with Fulanis now is a, is a Buari. Of course, definitely irrespective of what you think about them. You still have a few, few ones here and there. I could remember one uh, captain retired saying that uh, the problem that uh, 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 being caused by this uh, Fulani Esme, that Miyeti Allah came to own the problem, which they were not supposed to own. They own the problem and that is why, you know, any little thing, people say Fulani Esme, Fulani Esme, I'm... To so make matter worse, Buhari has even taken over from them because the way Amana they support them, they don't even say, Oh, those of you who are giving us bad names, we are going to get hold of you and stop all this rubbish that you are doing. They will tell you, Oh, it is not all full learnings, but they have few elements that are causing problems. But those few elements, they will never scold them. Those few elements, they will never arrest them. And um, um, you see, see people coming out to make a defense for them. So how do you expect people not to continue to gather them together? Because they support them. Even the few ones, they support what they are doing. They don't criticize, they don't castigate, they don't even call for their arrest in the first place. So what are we saying? There are many more still buried in people's houses. What Nigerian banks are holding is just 40% of Naira and foreign currencies 
The remaining 60% is buried in houses, farms, and supposed toilets. Huh. I beg, make you show us where they hide this 60% money. You go better. Oh, God, day. Please inform the appropriate authority that is whistleblowing and get your percentage. Easy way to get rich. Like, seriously, the program they talked about whistleblowing, whatever. Well, how did they do it? They scattered everything as well. Who is going to be doing whistleblowing? Huh. Not in this Nigeria. What is the person's name? Does it mean no Igbo man is a custom officer or no Igbo corrupt police custom officers? Corruption in custom uh, in Nigeria cuts across all whatever. But they say it's in a canoe state now. So what do you expect people to say? It will not pass an Aousa man because they have cow brain. We are all preemptive people. Selfish. And our reason is very archaic. Why bury these currencies when it could be used for further economic transformation of others? I'm sure the person stole it. Because if really, it is your money, I don't know why hiding it. it, 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 it if it is not a, a legal money, if really it is legal, definitely the person would have put it in the bank. So because if he wants to start spending it, it you know, there will be, it, it will look suspicious. So that is why they hid it there. Politicians steal our money, spend train eat and drink with only their family members and bury the remaining amounts when they are tired of spending there is god and there is judgment day this is really painful so 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 painful these are the people that claim to be more holier than other people from the south for you to know that a fool is always a fool if a southerner see this huge amount of money you will still invest is but these people still decide to keep the money for his personal use okay mm. that was the that was why he died stupidly and foolishly when you go investigate now you will see that his name are suffering his family members are suffering corrupt criminal minded custom officer i was in abuja for past four days i just came back to Patako yesterday people this is my first time to see and hear so many things that happening in this nation. One of my friends told me what he saw, and I confirm it's Niger have money. When I say money, money, money is different in different denomination. In fact, I took to my head. He shook. Human, inhuman to the highest order, burying money at the end of the day. The money decayed there. It's totally money, so it can't help anyone. Definitely, definitely. It's a stolen money. It's not a, it's not a claim money. It's not a claim money at all. So, according to what Daily Post said, the name has not been talked about. Though, but the question is that even if the name of the person is being mentioned, what are they going to do about it? The ones that we know their names, what have they done about them? So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.